I hope everyone knows what they want. I don't want to spend six hours in here waiting for Joe to pick out a snack. I'm not sure yet, but I'm kind of eyeing up that Twix over there. Of course you want the Twix. Twin chocolate bars, just like the Twin Tower. Okay, let's maybe not make that joke in public. Check it out, guys. I just found a cart. Now we can put all our snacks in here instead of having to carry them. You just found a cart? Donnie, please tell me you didn't just steal someone's cart. Not stealing, Barack. I'm simply borrowing the cart. Nothing stopping them from getting another one. Uh, I guess you're not wrong. All right, well, I'm going to get this banana. Of course you are. Well, I got my snacks, too. George? I'm getting the Twix, and Joe can shove it. Uh, guys, where's Joe? Does anyone see him? How did we lose him? We haven't even been here for five minutes. I told you we should have brought the leash. Man, Jill doesn't pay us nearly enough for this. Wait, guys, look, in the freezer section. Oh, my lordy lord, it's like a dream come true. Hey, moron, you gonna pick a flavor or just stand there and drool? Donald, don't rush me. This is a serious decision. I don't know why you're acting like this is a situation you've never been in before. Just get your dumbass chocolate chocolate chip and let's get out of here. No way, how did you know that was exactly what I wanted? Donnie, did you really have to put all your snacks here in the back seat? Oh, quit whining, George. You have tons of room back there. Yeah, except I don't. Every time I try to move around, this huge pile of Cheetos keeps getting in my way. Stop! You're gonna pop one of the bags and spill Cheetos all over my car. Donnie, let me hop on Aux real quick. I gotta show you guys this new banger. No way I'm letting you play that rap drivel in my car. Plus, we're almost there anyway. What do you mean, almost there? I thought you were taking us home. Not just yet, my friends. Gotta make a quick detour first. All right, here we are. Wait a sec. Raid Shadow Legends? Does that mean you- That's right. Looks like you're not the only one who can get sponsored. Now let's get inside. We have a class to attend. Professor Death Knight here with a lesson about Live Arena, the new PvP mode where you can fight against other players in real time. I swear I took my meds this morning. Please tell me I'm not the only one seeing this creepy talking skeleton. Joe, I don't think it's a real skeleton. It's probably just one of those holograms. Guys, that's the teacher. Quit talking and listen up. In matches, you'll get Live Arena crests towards unlocking special area bonuses, or so I hear. I'm too afraid to try any of this out. All right, class. Any questions? Yeah, I got a question. Are you actually a talking skeleton or just some weird freaky hologram trickery? This is just like when someone pointed at me and said, you can't even play and your bones look weird. Oh, great. You offended him. We're sorry, Mr. Death Knight. It's just our first time meeting a living skeleton. Does that sound terrifying? Of course. But some of the best things in life are scary as heck, like Zargala. Barack, that's not even true. We hang out with Joe like almost every day. Ha ha ha, Donnie, you were so wrong for that. All right, I have an actual question this time. Are there any meta characters that are OP? Oh, man. Ultimate Death Knight is killing it in the live arena. Oh, that boy just makes me so proud. Uh-oh, I think my ice cream's melting. I guess I better start eating it now. Uh... Oh, sorry, did you want some Professor Death Knight? No, no, it, it's just not for me, thanks. But it's chocolate chocolate chip. Uh-uh, nope. Come on, just one bite. Hell no. Joe, I, I don't think he wants any of your ice cream. I can't believe you even brought that in here. Anyone else with a question? Yeah, over here, Mr. Death Knight. Is there any way I can make it so I don't fight against all the super meta characters that keep kicking my ass? Not that that happens or anything. I just mean for the sake of the class. Huh. Someone's been paying attention. Yeah, I get that a lot. Let me break it down for you. There's a draft feature where you can pick and ban champions to fight for you. God, getting picked last is just the worst. But imagine getting banned from competing? Oh. Well, that's good. At least we know people can't just spam the same OP characters and ruin the competitiveness. I hope you use this knowledge you've gained here today about Live Arena to head off and do battle. Live! Make this whole dead bones professor proud, folks. Class dismissed! Do we have a bell? Oh, we should totally get a bell. I never thought I'd learn about PvP from a skeleton guy. That was definitely a first. Yeah, I still don't know if that skeleton was real or not, but I'll tell you what I do know is real. Raid, Call of the Arbiter, the epic animated series. Not just the series itself, but the characters from the series are being added to the game. Artak, the legendary orc warlord, is available to collect for free. All you gotta do is log in for seven days between now and July 24th. I'm pretty sure even Joe can manage that. Manage what? Jesus. And if you haven't started watching Raid Call of the Arbiter yet, 
then you better get that YouTube video open pronto. What the? That's exactly what I said. So quit screwing around and download Raid Shadow Legends. If you use my link in the description or scan the on-screen QR code, you'll get some wicked loot. Check this out, free epic champion Knight Errant, as well as some energy refills and XP boosters. Level up your army and start kicking ass. Once you've kicked the tutorial's ass, come help us kick ass in George's Liberators. George, please let me rename the clan Donnie's Destroyers. Yeah, that's that's not happening. Finally, I'm so glad we're playing Transit at last. Uh oh, guys, I think I'm cutting out. Can't hear. I'm lagging. No, you're not, Donald. Eh, well, it was worth a try. Do we really have to play this map? George, we've played Origins twice now, and yet we haven't even played Transit. That is so not fair. George, we've eaten actual food twice now, and yet we haven't even eaten shit once. That is so not fair. Oh, gross. Come on, Donnie. I know Transit sucks, but it's not that bad. No, it's, it's that bad. Everyone always goes on about how Transit it was supposed to be so much bigger and better it was just limited by the hardware they're so hopped up on copium that they forget about the actual map okay that is true and i mean what is this having to put together this dumbass turbine at the beginning of every game it's supposed to be a zombie scavenger hunt instead of super confusing steps you collect items i think it's way more biden friendly yeah no coincidence the most biden friendly easter egg is one of the dumbest ones in existence now, where the hell is the third part for the turbine? Well, I don't have it. I don't have it either. Joe? Oh, oops, hey, hey, I have it. Well, then hurry up and build it. What are you waiting for? All right, all right, I was just getting points. Geez, no need to rush me. Joe, the faster you build this turbine, the faster we can get this godforsaken map over with. Guys, I am not letting you just speed run through this map. I want to take our time and enjoy it. Finally, we have the turbine. Now we can place it in front of the door and... Uh, I think this was the wrong door. What the... Joe, I thought you said this was your favorite map. How do you not even know what door to open? I haven't played it in a while. I'm adding the front bumper to the bus. Those meat bags are going to go flying. Oh, I love the bus. That's the best part about the map. You get to huddle in there with all your friends and go on a road trip. So exciting. The only thing exciting about this map is the game over screen. Now let's all pile into this piece of shit and get this show on the road. Donnie, why do you have to be so mean? How would you feel if I just started tearing into Shadows of Evil? Go ahead, tell me what you don't like about Shadows. Go on. Four player Easter egg. Okay, besides four player Easter egg. That damned Widow's Wine perk. I fucking hate Widow's Wine. I can't believe it costed me my friendship with Bill. No, that was because you kept asking Hillary for Chelsea's baby photos. Uh... Okay, the bus is moving. Now we can actually start playing the game. How does this Easter egg go again? It's pretty dumb. Really, all we need to do is build the jet gun, go out into the cornfield, shoot it at the pylon, get EMPs, throw them into the portals, and that's about it. Ah, oh, guys, we should have started the Super Easter Egg when we were unburied. Considering the Super Easter Egg is just putting the nav cards into the table for some dialogue, I think I'll sleep just fine skipping it. Okay, we're about to roll up on the first buildable part here. Anyone see it? Don't worry, I got it. Wouldn't want this jet turbine to give you flashbacks or anything. Asshole. Ha ha ha, good one, Barry. Now hurry up and get back on the bus before we leave you behind. Coming. I'm definitely not trying to run through the fog alone. Wait, what the... Uh, where the hell did you just go? I'm on top of the bus. I guess I bounced off the bumper and ended up here. I definitely don't think that was intended. Damn. I mean, I know you guys don't want to sit at the back, but I didn't think you'd just climb on top. You are seriously messed up in the head. You know that, right? If you don't like playing transit, then you ain't black. I take it back. That is messed up in the head. Well, we made it to the diner. I'll open up the box room for you guys here. Everyone say thank you, Donnie. Yeah, thanks. Very altruistic of you, Donald. Very altru what? It means being selfless, you know, doing things for other people. George, I thought I told you to quit it with the grammar nerd shit. Just say nice or kind like a normal person. You want to sound like a four-year-old? Go ahead. I'm just saying, especially in politics, you'd want to use detailed language. Oh yeah, how detailed is this language? Fuck you! Whatever, man. Keep sounding like you dropped out of kindergarten. Holy shit, I just pulled the ray gun first try. Yikes, Donnie is seething right now. You're kidding. I just pulled the ray gun first try too. God, I love transit. Okay, what is going on here? How did you both pull ray guns first try? Are you guys cheating? Just good RNG, buddy. Turns out when you're not a dick all the time like Donald, RNGs is nice to you. Oh, shut up, Joe. You get good box luck once and now you're acting like some kind of yogi monk bullshit. Now everyone get on the bus, it's moving. I'm trying, this bugged ass game won't let me on. There we go. I'm here, I'm here. All right, guys, let's keep the road trip going. Also, now we can climb on top of the bus. This is so epic. That's your definition of epic. No wonder this guy likes Cold War zombies. Nah, I just like that game because of my little, or I guess my big Sammy Bear. Uh. I just hope they incorporate smell o vision into gaming soon. Imagine sniffing little Sammy Whammy's feet. I'm sure someone will make a BO3 mod for that. Jail! Immediate jail! Please, someone check this guy's hard drives. Oh God, you're kidding me. I just accidentally jumped off the bus like an idiot. Way to go, dumbass. Now you get to experience the real transit. 
Wait, what the? I just got knocked off by that fucking antenna. That's just straight up karma, right there. Instant karma in full effect. Oh crap, this little gremlin is humping my face. Hold on, I'm shooting it off. Imagine falling off the bus. Couldn't be me. Imagine shutting up. Couldn't be you either. These denizens have got to be the worst thing in all of Black Ops 2 zombies. Nah, I can think of one thing that's worse. Really? Yeah, how about when some idiot steals your free blundergat off the table in Mob? I would say that sucks a hell of a lot more. Jesus, you got me thinking you're my wife the way you're bringing up old shit. Yeah, well, to you, anything is old shit because you can't remember any of it. Remember any of what? Exactly. Okay, somehow we made it to the farm alive. Let's open up the shed and see if there's a bus piece. Just wait, someone's gotta get 750 points so we can open the gate. I'm killing the last zombie. I'm putting down my turbine. Oh nice, it's the ladder. Now let's get our asses back to the bus. Putting the ladder on now. Good. Now maybe the next time someone accidentally jumps off the bus, they'll be able to get back on. Hey! Not naming any names, just saying, Oh yay, the bus is moving again. Guys, let's all sing. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Yeah, that's gonna have to stop right now. Oh, God damn it, I'm down. Guys, revive me. I have ray gun. How the, literally, how do you manage to go down on round three with the ray gun? The zombie windmilled me. Plus, I couldn't use the ray gun without PhD or else I would have downed myself anyway. I'm hopping off the bus to go to knock to get the jet gun piece. I'm coming too, just in case. Uh-oh, I'm getting connection interrupted. Oh, great, I'm down. Well, it's a good thing Dr. Trump is here to keep you in the fight. Yeah, how about you heal my shitternet? Anyways, I love how it took the entire computing power of Joe's brain just to have the forethought to not kill himself with the ray gun, yet it somehow never crossed his mind to just back up. Careful, George, we're talking about someone with profound mental disability here. Oh, I've got a disability. Disability to bang your wife. Take that, you Oompa Loompa. See what I mean? Joe, you are the poster child for impotency. Maybe we should get you a Blue Chew sponsorship because the only banging in America is the American people banging their heads against the wall because they elected a fucking vegetable. Damn, Donald. Well, looks like we're gonna have to elect a new president because I'm pretty sure you just killed him. Donnie's saying that like his shit still works. You don't know that. Maybe it does. Maybe I'm gonna go take it for a spin after this game. Stop, stop talking. That is disgusting. I'm shutting that shit down this instant. Well, I got the part, so let's trek onto the power station. Do you guys have the power on yet over there? Yep, just turning it on now. Time to release the avocado. Uh, it's called the Avogadro, Joe, not avocado. Yeah, that's what I said. No, it's not. Say avo. Avo. Okay, now Godro. Godro. Great, now put it together. Avogadro. Avocado. Oh my God. Don't even waste the energy, George. It's a lost cause. I just picked up the wires for the jet gun. My transit memory is starting to come back, I think. Man, if only his politics memory would come back too. Joe, can you tell me the name of your VP? My VP? What do you mean? I am the VP. Barack is president. Oh Lord, it's worse than we thought. I'm gonna need 50 cc's of chocolate chocolate chip stat. Uh, I mean, who am I? Where am I? Uh-oh, looks like my memory is slipping even more. Better get more ice cream. Yeah, nice try. Donnie and George, are you guys almost here? The bus is gonna leave any moment now. I'm almost there. Donnie is a little behind me, though. Well, you better hurry up. The bus is moving now. Hopefully I don't screw up this jump. Oh, good. Look down there, it's George. Hi, Georgie. Yes, believe it or not, I somehow made it. I don't think I can say the same about Donald, though. Well, that's just peachy. Now I'm alone at the power station with five bullets and 20 points. I am boned. Do you want me to hop off and come protect you? I'm fine. I'm just going to knife the shit out of these zombies until I have enough to buy the AK. Just remember, it's two hit down. Really? I didn't know that. Actually, hold on, I have an idea. Oh no, Donnie's gonna do something stupid. No, I'm just using my grenades to make crawlers so I can knife the crawlers. You know, it saddens me to know you have so little faith in me, Barack. Yeah, well, you keep trying to tell people I'm from Kenya, and then you completely fumbled the presidency for four years and ultimately lost the election to none other than Sleepy Joe. Sorry, but that doesn't really instill a lot of faith. Fumbled the presidency? Do you know how much I did for this country? Lowest unemployment in half a century, millions and millions of new jobs, not to mention the First Step Act, which helps get good people out of the prison system and into those jobs. Help, I'm down! Meanwhile, the current president can't even stay alive with the ray gun. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I'm booking it straight to town. Wait for me there, guys. The bus is still here, so we're not going anywhere. Also, if you don't have a part yet, you should grab the gauge in the cabin. Right, smart thinking, Debrickshaw, I mean Obama. The fuck, did you just call me? Nothing, nothing, I got the gauge coming to town. Oh great, the bus is leaving. Well, I guess we're staying in town. Don't worry, I'm here, let's get the bank open. I already blew up the door. Oh, finally, now the real, real transit begins. You know, any other time, I'd be staunchly against this. But what the hell, this is transit. I might as well get some points, too. No, you guys are gonna ruin the rest of the playthrough. Joe, the playthrough was ruined when we agreed to play transit. I'm just making the pain a little more bearable. I can't believe this. How do you guys even have that many points in the bank? Let's just say, Barack and I did a little points grinding off camera on Buried in preparation for this disaster of a map. 
Yeah, sorry, Joe, this map is horrible enough as is. Ain't no way I'm gonna farm all the points for perks and pap on this map. Okay, I just got the jet gun, the most epic wonder weapon in the game. Should we just go book it to the cornfield now? Let's just wait for the bus. Last thing we want is for Joe to get lost in the fog and then lose his ray gun. Uh, help me guys, I'm down. Which apparently doesn't matter since Joe's ray gun shoots like fucking water or something. I wasn't using my ray gun, I was trying to knife. It's insta-kill. Dude, deadass went down on an insta-kill. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God, not again. Really, Joe? You seriously cannot make this shit up. Joe Biden, the first president to ever go down twice on an insta-kill. Someone write that on his Wikipedia page. Uh-oh, guys, the Avogadro is about to spawn in. Let's get him. Hell yeah. Let's guacamole this avocado into a delicious dip that goes amazing with tortilla chips. I do gotta say, Mexican food goes hard. That's about the only reason I didn't actually build the wall. What do you guys think was more cap, Donnie's wall or Obamacare? Oh, dude, Obamacare, easy. First off, Obamacare wasn't cap. Maybe it didn't work out as planned, but Donnie's wall was entirely a publicity stunt to win him the election. It worked, didn't it? Didn't work the second time, bitch. The avocado, I mean, Avogadro is dead. Thanks, Joe. Ha <laughs> ha, the Joe-isms are rubbing off on you. It's the return of Sleepy George. I told you to never call me that again. Come on, Joe, let's get the hell out of town. I'm coming. What the, what is happening? It wouldn't let me on. Joe, you better not get left behind here. I'm not staying to revive your ass. Oh my God, I made it. Phew. Well, now we're all the way back at the bus stop. We're just gonna have to wait it out until the bus moves again. Donnie quit blocking the ladder. I'm trying to climb on top of the bus. Sorry, no nerdy ass Marlton allowed up here. Guys, do you believe in alternate dimensions? What? I said, do you believe in- No, I heard what you said, I just don't understand. Like infinite parallel Earths with infinite copies of us all living out similar lives, only slightly morphed by the events of their worlds. Yeah, right, that is preposterous and you know it. Oh, there we go, that's a long word for you. Maybe in an alternate dimension, you're the grammar nerd. As if. If anything, I'm the best damn president the United States has ever had in every damn multiverse. Bro, you're not even the best president in this universe. Now shut your ass up, the bus is finally moving. So are you guys having fun? Yes, Joe. This is the most fun I've had since closing the car door on my hand last summer. Speaking of cars, oh shit. What did you do now? Nothing, I just realized I forgot my Twix in Donnie's car. Oh, score, I'm so gonna eat that after this game. Yeah, maybe if you wanna eat a bag of liquid chocolate, I guarantee that thing is melted by now. Damn it. All right, we're back at the diner. Donnie, you and I should start hitting the box for EMPs. Yeah, I just got the cap 40. I'm hitting it again. Well, that was easy. Sorry, Joe, what was that about RNGesus giving good luck to everyone but Donnie? I never said it was impossible for you to get anything good. And then I immediately pull the teddy bear? You have got to be kidding me. Nice one, Barack. Everyone get back on the bus. Let's go hit the cornfield. Screw it, I'm buying the MP5 then. I'm not keeping the starting pistol anymore. Wait, the box is in farm. Let's go hit it for EMPs. Please don't give me a dog shit gun. No way. Guys, I just pulled the ray gun first try. Oh, hell no. Now I'm the only one without a ray gun. Whatever, I'm just gonna get double tap. I already have a hammer anyways. All right, class, everyone back on the bus. Next stop, the cornfield. Okay, so the guide says I just need to aim this thing straight up and shoot it until you hear Rick Toffin speak. George, you're Stuhlinger, so you're gonna have to tell me when you hear him. Oh, well, the jet gun broke, so I hope it worked. Yeah, I heard the quote. That's another thing that sucks about transit, and just Victus in general. I get that from a lore standpoint, it makes sense for only Stuhlinger to be able to hear Rick Toffin because he ate the flesh of the zombies and that connected him to the ether. But it just makes all the Easter eggs unnecessarily harder since you always have to rely on the guy that's stooling her to communicate if you're doing the steps correctly. Jesus, George, tell me how you really feel. So the next step is to kill a bunch of zombies in this area with explosives until, you guessed it, Rick Toffin says another quote, luckily the ray gun works for this step, so you guys should be done at any second now. He just said the quote, I'm getting out of this cornfield, this thing is a death trap. Hopefully I can pull the EMPs here, I just know that's gonna take us forever. While you do that, I'm gonna hit a teleporter, preferably it'll take me to town. So can anyone power up PAP at the power station? I got you, Donnie. Just make sure you stay there unless someone else is in there so the door doesn't close on us. Hitting the box again. The luck on this run has been gold. Let's keep the dream alive. Yes, let's go. I just got the EMPs. Bro definitely shot all four corners. Dolphin dived into the box, knifed it three times, did a 360, and then opened it. Works every time. What? Donnie, get your Jim Buthy ass Easter egg out of here. Man, I swear, I used to believe his shit was real. Wait, you're telling me they're not real? No, Joe, the golden ray gun and the lightsaber on the giant are not real. Putting the last part on the pack-a-punch. I'm just getting back to town. Everyone pack-a-punch your weapons. We're gonna need to each pick a teleporter to throw EMPs in, that is, after Joe and I get them. I got the one at diner. I guess I'll just chill here until you get the EMPs. And hey, now would probably be a good time for me to bust out one of these.
one eternity later. Oh, goody, I just got the EMPs. Now it's just up to you, George. Finally, someone gets them. Now, how long is it going to take for George to get them? I think it's time for me to bust one of these out. Wait, that sounds just like Barack. Did you steal one of my Diet Cokes? I was wondering why one of the cases was slightly open. Okay, I may have snuck one or two. Two? This is highway robbery. What do I look like to you, a vending machine? Well, you are built like a fridge, so... Butt out, Joe. I'm not talking to you. Oh, come on, Don. It's two Diet Cokes. You were going to eat my Twix. In fact, you probably still are. Fat ass, why don't you forget the glitching channel and make a mukbang channel? I bet people would watch your orange ass chomp down some McDonald's. Oh, yeah? Why don't you make a military strategy channel? Oh, wait. George, just zip it and focus on getting the EMPs. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh, my God, yes. I finally got EMPs. Oh, my God, it's happening. Everyone stay calm. I'm going to go find a teleporter. I'm so excited to see what the reward is for beating this Easter egg. Should we tell him? After we've come this far, no way. Everyone get to a lamp. I'm ready at the diner. Just got to get rid of these zombies. All right, everyone ready? I'm ready. I'm ready too, Donnie. Ready when you are, Donald. Okay, three, two, one. Throw the EMPs. Throwing it. Throwing it. Throwing it. Did we get it? A big blue light just came out of my lamp. I think that means we got it. Wait, is my game glitched then? Why didn't it give me all perks? Because you don't get all perks on transit. What? So then what do you get? You sure you want to know? Well, of course. Here, let me pick it up. What the? A nuke? Are you serious? Yep, that's right. You get a power up. This can't be happening. All that work for a nuke. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Dude, we tried to tell you this map sucks. Oh, well, guess I just won't do the Easter egg ever again. What? What did you think I was going to say? Did you think I was going to say I hate transit now? I still love the scavenger hunt. Can we go to Nocturne Toten and do high rounds now? Dude, seriously? High rounds after all this? Hold on, yeah, let's go to Noct. I think that would be a very good idea, Joe. Donnie, why are you encouraging him? Just trust me, Barack. Oh, man, I really shouldn't have drank that Diet Coke. I gotta use the little boy's room. I sure hope George doesn't enact his revenge on me for dolphin diving onto him on Buried when I'm AFK, proned in the corner over here. I love it when a plan comes together. No! What are you guys doing? Something we should have done a long time ago. I'm down. Barack, please help me. Don't do it. I'm sorry, Joe, but it's time. No! Bro, what the hell kind of noise was that? I'd just like to point out the fact that I had zero downs except for when George downed me. Not cool, you guys tricked me. Joe, I'd say that was beyond fair for making us play transit for six hours. It was not six hours. No, but it was so painful that it felt like six hours. Yeah, I think next time I'll just opt for the lobotomy. Anyways, I'm gonna go see if I can find George's Twix wedged somewhere in the back seat. See you guys later. All right, peace, Donnie. Oh, and don't forget to download Raid Shadow Legends on mobile and PC via my link in the description or on-screen QR code. I still can't believe he somehow got sponsored. Donald has friends in high places, or at least he calls them friends. Everyone knows we're his only real friends. Either way, I just hope they didn't pay him more than me. Well, night, Barack. Night, Joe. Barry, can I ask you a question? Sure, Joe. One question before I get off. Do you really hate transit, or were you just acting like that for the other guys? Joe, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Transit fucking sucks. God, isn't there someone out there who loves transit like me? 